what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. Today we're talking about some silly, ridiculous medical collections. This is a new one even for the collectors. All right, so check this out. All right, Tracy writes in. She sent in an email. Feel free to email me. Y'all can get my email. All right, email me. I want to know if you need any help. I will help you, okay? Maybe make you a video. Hello, Brandon. First, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Since April 2018, when I purchased your kit, I have all the collections removed and Experian has removed all the hard inquiries. Now, I'm writing to ask you about a new collection added to my report from the hospital. This is what's going on with this hospital, okay? They're trying to make me pay this bill. My daughter was covered on insurance. This is for her daughter. Her daughter was covered on insurance. The father had insurance. It was covered under the father's insurance. The patient had insurance. Insurance is available, all right? So this hospital said, well, you know what, ma'am? You are a responsible party. We want you to pay. And they're taking her income refund, all this nonsense. Now they still wanted to pay the remaining bill. I brought her to the hospital, but the insurance was not in my name. My daughter's dad contacted his insurance company explaining what happened. And they don't know why this happened because the insurance company said the daughter was covered. So the insurance company's not sure. The hospital's saying, we don't care because we're going to get our money. Yeah, the collector only has partial information about the bill from the original creditor. So I sent the collection validation letter a few days ago and now I'm waiting. Please help. Thanks. Yes. So they need to substantiate this. They need to show that this is 100% accurate and they can collect from you, which apparently they're not supposed to be doing because this individual, this patient, this person, regardless of if it's your daughter or not, has insurance. So the claim needs to go through the insurance. The insurance company needs to help you out, the hospital needs to help you out, and these collectors need to get their stuff together. You can file complaints with the CFPB about the reporting and with the collector. You can file a complaint with the HHS, the civil, all right, the Office of Civil Rights, the OCR portion of the HHS.gov. And you can tell them that you could potentially have some discriminatory issues here for your hospital, right? For your medical provider, for this individuals here that don't want to do the right thing about your daughter's health insurance. You shouldn't have to be dealing with these collectors. They shouldn't be taking your refund from your taxes. You can talk to your local tax preparer or CPA. We think a CPA is going to help you with this tax issue. I mean, they're doing all sorts of things and the small claims court and the federal courts are available to you for all these damages that they're putting you through, all this pain, suffering, all this stuff that should not have happened to you, period. You show up, you do the right thing. Here's my daughter, she has health insurance, take care of it. Now they wanna do all this nonsense and put all these things that you shouldn't have to deal with into your credit. You need to dispute all that stuff, file the complaints with the CFPB, the Better Business Bureau, the HHS.gov, and the Office of the, of the Civil Rights portion of the HHS.gov for a medical provider that could potentially be uh, discriminating against for all sorts of different reasons, maybe because his daughter is a uh, young, young, maybe there's an issue because they don't want to treat her as an adult, like a true patient. So they're trying to look at the parents, they're trying to look here, they're trying to look there, okay? Age could be an issue. Who knows why they're doing this to you and your family, but it should not be happening. And so you need to get everyone involved. You need to get all the resources. This whole army for you is available to you. You can get this done. You can dispute this. We've got the HIPAA letters for you, okay? They shouldn't have any of your daughter's information or any of that stuff without a signed HIPAA release. So all this information, all this is for you to get this stuff off. The courts are available to you. Complain, get your refund back, all that good stuff, okay? You have the letters and the power for you if you want to get your credit squared away. In the beginning of this, we talked about all her collection, all her original collections gone. Hard inquiries gone. 609creditrepair.com. You can do this work for yourself or we can do it for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. If this video helped you out, please give a thumbs up. Please put in the comments below how you're doing when you hit the subscribe button. Put subscribe tribe down below and let me know about your medical situations that I can help you with in the comments below. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.